to get started i have the save record function in the client script and this is also called as one of the entry point in client script the save record is usually used to validate your current record based on some condition whenever the record is being saved so for example let's say you're in a sales order record so whenever you click this save and if you have this client script save record function deployed on the sales order record the moment you click the save button the client script save record function will be executed and it will do the validation as per your script logics now let's go back to our script the save record has one script context parameter which provides access to your current record for example if i have deployed it on sales order record it provides me an access to that particular record the save record is also expecting some return value so we are going to return either true or false based on our validations so in order to talk about the script right now i have the save record function with the small console.log i am also trying to access the current record using the script context.current record and using the current record i am also trying to get the line count of my item sublist and on the other hand i am trying to check whether the line count is less than 2 minimum there should be two lines in order to save this record only then i am going to allow the user to save the sales order record this is the condition which i have added if the line count is less than 2 show a alert to the user that minimum two lines are required and return false so that save will not be happening and if the line count is more than 2 i am going to by default return it as true so which satisfies my validation and I'm going to allow the user to save this record. To make things faster, I have already uploaded this client script save record function in my NetSuite account. And this is the script record which I have created for this client script file. In order to test this, I'm going to navigate to transactions, sales, and click enter sales order. It has opened me a new sales order form to fill up. I'm going to select the customer here. Now I'm going to select the items. Let's select a single item and click add. Now if I click save button on the sales order record, client script should have triggered now. So before clicking this button, I'm going to open my browser console by clicking function F12. So I'm going to clear all the logs in my console. Now let's hit the save button. Now I can clearly see the alert message. On the console, I can see my save record has been triggered and there are logs. And it also says minimum two lines are required. Now let's try adding one more line. Now clear the logs and let's save one more time. This time I did not receive any pop-up and I can clearly see my sales order has been successfully saved without any problem. This is how the client script save record function can be used. You can make use of the save record function in order to validate your current record.